guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine here, and I'm bringing you a DIY Halloween decorations video. I love it so much. I love Halloween and I love the creativity of it all, okay? So make sure you subscribe and enjoy. First, we're gonna start off with origami that we're going to turn into pumpkins. So we wanna first have square paper or cut your paper into a square like this and then I'm gonna fold in all directions to make it easier for me later so that's folding it diagonally and in like a plus sign shape and then it will look like this Now we're going to fold it in half and then in half again, so into like fourths. And then we're gonna insert our hand under that square and unfold it into a pyramid shape. Then flip it and do the same on the other side. Then we're gonna take the flaps at the bottom and one at a time fold it up to make a smaller diamond shape and then repeat on both sides. that is right beneath them. And we're gonna make sure we repeat that on all sides. so that the little pockets are not exposed and then on one end you should see a little hole and basically you want to blow air into that hole until it inflates the paper so basically your air should push out the paper and make it look more like a three-dimensional object now to make the stems you just want to fold a green piece of paper into fourths so that's in half and then half again and cut into small sections and then it's best to bend the end of it so when you insert it into the pumpkin balloon it can be more secure and this is how it should look to hang them you can use fishing line or I use the thread from jewelry when you make jewelry so you just weave that through the stems and then you can use tape to secure it down for extra support. Spiders. These are so cute to me, my favorite by far. We're starting with little pom-poms and shoestrings, the circular kind, not the flat kind. And I'm going to cut a bunch of shoestring pieces, probably about two inches in length. And cut a bunch. Like that. And 
then I'm going to take groups of four pieces. So I'm going to take three pieces and then tie the fourth piece around all of them. And that's going to make it very secure. glue the pom-poms to the legs or to that little knot in the middle of the legs careful not to burn yourself because that glue be too hot and it be stringy and it be trying to burn you but you got this and this is how it looks now I wanted to make it look like there were spiders coming down from the web. So I took that same thread from before and I wrapped it around the spider and glued it down to give that illusion that the spider is coming down from its web. Okay, so this part is very easy. Basically, to make this web, you have to find some cotton. That can be cotton balls, cotton pads, um, cotton stuffing from inside of teddy bears, doesn't matter. Once you find some cotton, all you have to do is keep pulling it apart until you get that desired look, the desired thickness, um, texture etc and then once you've done so you're pretty much done tombstone so I'm going to make a tombstone out of cereal boxes first you want to take the box take the box apart until it's flat preferably to undo it at the seam so that it's easier to put it back together. I have an X-Acto knife and a colored pencil or marker or whatever you want. And I'm gonna draw out in bubble letters what I want it to say so that I can cut it out and it'll look sort of like an engraving in the tombstone. So basically all I did was RIP. Time to paint. I used loose brush strokes to try to make it look like it has a little bit of texture and dimension. Then I let it dry and then I flipped it over and then I painted the back of the box as well. At least the part of the box that's going to be behind the letters that you just cut out so that when you look at it, It'll be dark in the inside as well as the outside.
or you can paint the entire thing that's up to you now it's time to start gluing basically you just want to glue the box back together sort of how it came but make sure when you glue it together the message you cut out reads correctly because if you do it inside out um, the words will be backwards and you don't want that you want to be able to read it so just glue the parts back together And that is it. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below if you'd like to see more DIY projects from me. And until next time, stay awesome. Happy decorating.